Hello friends, my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82. You can also visit our website www.techstudio82.com. Please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon for latest updates. In this video, I will show you the complete installation setup of Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Express Edition software on Windows 10 operating system. And we also download and install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And finally, we will do configuration by creating a new database using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, then let's get started with the first step. First, we will download the software directly from the Microsoft official website. I will show you how to do that. Open Google in any web browser and search with the keyword SQL Server Express Edition Download 2019. Hit enter. On the screen, you can see the Google search results. The first link Microsoft SQL Server 2019, which is the official website www.microsoft.com. Just click on that first link. It will direct to the official site that is Microsoft.com. Here you can see scroll down on the screen. You can see Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Express Edition. You need to select the language. By default, it will be the English. I'm going with the default English language. Click on download. Here you can see SQL Server Express.exe file has been downloaded. Click on this show in folder in the downloads folder. This is my downloads folder. Here you can see the SQL Server installer for Express Edition. Now we are going to execute this installer file. Right click run as administrator. Whenever you are installing any software on your machine, it is always recommended to run as administrator. So click on run as administrator on the screen. You can see SQL Server 2019 Express Edition. We need to select the installation type. We have three options that is basic, custom and download media. This is a basic installation. I am going with the custom installation. Okay. We can select custom installation type to set up through the SQL Server installation wizard and choose what you want to install. So I am going with the customized installation. Just click on this. Now we need to specify SQL Server media download target location. Default media location will be the C drive. This is the minimum free space and this is the download size. Since we are going with the custom installation, it will be some 700 to 800 MB. So if you want to download this ISO file in another location, you can browse and you can, you can select the location wherever you want in any of the drives. I'm going with the default one. Just click on install you can see the downloading installing package it is currently downloading the installer package the file size is 796 mb it all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection it may take hardly some 5 to 10 minutes of your time so have some patience in another few seconds our download will get complete finally you can see sql server 2019 express edition download got successful your sql server installation will begin shortly so let's wait for that you can see the pop-up window it is preparing for installation setup wizard on the screen you can see sql server installation center this is our setup wizard now we need to select the first one new SQL Server standalone installation. Just click on this. We need to accept the license agreements. Accept the license agreement. Click on next. In the next step, it is checking the global rules. In this step, it will identify problems that might occur when you install SQL Server support files. So initially failures must be corrected before setup on continue. So there are operations completed past date failed zero. So no issues. Just click on next. In the next step, you can see Microsoft update offer security and other important updates for my for Windows and other Microsoft software, including SQL Server 2019. This is an optional, although it is recommended one, but I don't want to opt this. Just click on next. On the screen, you can see it is installing setup files. Install setup files is in progress. You can see the install rules. Setup install rules identify potential problems that might occur while running setup. Failures must be corrected before setup can continue. We don't have any failures. This is a warning we can ignore. Windows firewall that won't be an issue. So every you can see the status passed, passed and warning. Click on next. In the next step, this is the feature selection. We need to select the express features to install. By default, these are all the default features. I don't want this machine learning service and language and uh, I don't want this full text semantic extraction and the shared features let it be the default one this is the instance root directory this is the shared feature directory 32 bit let it be the default one you can see the feature description over here and uh, you, you can see the prerequisites for selected features which are already installed windows powershell and windows visual c 2017 redistributable package just click on next next step is instance configuration this is a default instance and named instance let, be, let it be the default instance name sql express just click on next in the next step, server configuration, specify the service accounts and collision configuration. Let it be the default one. In the collision tab, you can see the database engine. If you want to customize, we can customize, but I am going with the default one. Just click on next. Now we are at a very important step, database engine configuration. We need to specify authentication mode and administrator for the database engine. We have two modes of authentication. One is Windows authentication mode and the second one is a mixed mode. I am going with the mixed mode, SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication. Specify the password for SQL Server administrator account. We need to enter strong password. I'm giving as admin A caps, admin at the rate one, two, three, four, five and confirm password 
ஏ கேப்ஸ் அட்மின் அட் த ரேட் ஒன் டூ த்ரீ ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் ப்ளீஸ் ரிமெம்பர் த பாஸ்வேர்ட் வித் தேர்ட் பாஸ்வேர்ட் யூ கேன் நாட் என்டர் இன் டூ த சீக்வல் சர்வர் டேட்டா பேஸ் யூ நீட் டு ஸ்பெசிஃபை சீக்வல் சர்வர் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேட்டர் பை டிஃபால்ட் யூ கேன் சி ஒன் யூசர் ஜஸ்ட் கிளிக் ஆன் ஆட் கரண்ட் யூசர் கிளிக் ஆன் டேட்டா டைரக்ட்ரிஸ் திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த டேட்டா ரூட் டைரக்ட்ரிஸ் அந்த டிஃபால்ட் ஒன் அந்த டெம் டிஃபால்ட் ஆல் திஸ் திங்ஸ் ஐ டோன்ட் வாண்ட் டு சேஞ்ச் எனி திங் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் வாண்ட் டு கோ வித் த டிஃபால்ட் ஒன் ஜஸ்ட் கிளிக் ஆன் நெக்ஸ்ட் யூ கேன் சி த இன்ஸ்டலேஷன் ப்ரோக்ரஸ் on the screen you can see sql server 2019 installation completed successfully with product updates you can see the features and the status so installation successful just click on close so far we have completed the first part that is download and installing microsoft sql server 2019 express edition soft let's move on to the second part that is we will first download and install microsoft sql server management studio which is a gui interface for sql server database Let me brief you what is SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server Management Studio is a Windows software which is used to connect and work with our SQL Server database from a graphical interface instead of using the command line. Okay then, let's download and install SQL Server Management. Just click on this link. It will direct to the official website microsoft.com. You can see microsoft.com official website. Here you can see download SQL Server Management Studio. Just scroll down. Here you can see download SSMS. Just click on this. This is a free download for SQL Server Management Studio. The latest version is 18.11.1. Just click on this. Here you can see our download got started. The file size is 675 MB. Just click on show all. You can see the current download progress. It all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection. Finally, we have successfully downloaded SQL Server Management Studio software. Just click on Show in folder. It will direct to the Downloads folder. See, this is my Downloads folder, and this is the SQL Server Management Studio software. Now I am going to manually install this software on Windows 10 operating system. Right click and run as administrator. On the screen, you can see the setup wizard: Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio. This is the default location. If you want to change, you can change the location. You can see by clicking the Install button, we accept the license agreement. just click on install your installation is in progress on the screen you can see overall progress it will take some hardly 5 to 10 minutes of your time on the screen you can see overall progress is completed finally our installation setup got completed you can see the message all specified components have been successfully installed just click on the close button now let's open sql server management studio click on the start menu scroll down you can see microsoft sql server tools just drop down this here you can see microsoft sql server management studio 18 just click on this on the screen you can see microsoft sql server management studio is opening we need to connect to sql server this is the server name and the authentication mode we need to select windows authentication sql server authentication i am going with the windows authentication just click on connect let me walk through this object explorer we have the database just drop down this databases system databases by default it will create four databases master model MSDB tempdb i will just brief about what is master database this master database contains information about sql server configuration and without master database server can't be started this will store all the metadata information coming to this model database the model database sets a template for every database that is newly created and coming to msdb this msdb database is used mainly by the sql server management studio in order to store the system activities like sql server jobs mail service broker maintenance plan like that and coming to the tempdb from the name itself we can identify that the purpose of this database it can be accessed by the all the users in the sql server instance okay let's create a new database click on databases right click select the new database you can see a pop up window new database you need to specify the database name i am giving as tech82 let it be the default options just click on okay under the database snapshots you can see tech82 database has been created just click on this drop down you can see the table we need to create a new table let me create a new table just select the tables right click and click on new select the table we need to specify column names i am specifying as em employee id and data type is small int i am just creating a sample table with these three columns just click on select on the top you can see yellow tab right click and save table 1 here you can enter name for the table i'm giving as employee just click on okay just drop down this table you can see dbo.employee just click on this you need to click on this new query let's insert data into this employee table i'm going to insert one sample record this is my insert statement just execute here you can see one row got affected let's query this table select star from dbo.employee select this and execute here you can see the result of the query whatever the row that we inserted you can see that record over here so far we have seen how to download and install microsoft sql server 2019 express edition software on windows 10 operating system and also we have downloaded and installed microsoft sql server management studio which is a gui interface to sql server in the management studio we have configured one new database and also we have created a table and we inserted data into that particular table and we have queried the table that's it thanks for watching if you like my video 
please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon for latest updates please like and also share my videos with your friends and drop a comment your comments are highly valuable thank you